the teaching of the four grave names. When I go to the cemetery to visit my passed away family members, there are four names. Three are passed away, the other is still alive. There is my grandpa William, my grandma Annie, my mother Debbie, and Doug. Out of all the names that stand out the most to me, it is Doug. Why? Because when I look at the timestamp, Doug is still alive. Doug is an older man, older than my mother was, who has blessed health. Every time I go visit mother, I get to know if he's still around. I thank the Lord Jesus the Christ, the Amen Morning Star. Amen. I do believe that Grandpa William and Granny Annie and Mother Debbie are currently in the kingdom of heaven with Jesus. And as for Doug, he too is destined for the paradise. There was a time when in the garage, actually a couple times, where I would ask them, since they became common law, if they would ever marry each other. When I think to all the hardships and trials they went through, I perceived a time when I did ask, because I asked a couple times. I do say, in the Holy Ghost, I was as a pastor there, and I wedded them. That I even ran the saying of, do you take so and so to be your wife, and so and so to be your husband, that because it wasn't officially as in a church, they may not have fully known but Doug took care of her in her old age. Verily, I do believe in faith, likened unto a pastor again, I say, I did indeed bind them to marriage. They are knitted. Amen.